In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a menu that floats above your content. This is often referred to as a sticky menu. Now, I've got a demo project set up here, and this is just using a standard layout. Our menu is separate at the top. And let's go ahead and look at our node browser. So I'm just going to drag this out here so we can see it while we're working. Um, now, what we want is when we scroll the page, I want this menu to stay stuck at the top so it's always visible. Now to do that, we need to put our content in a um, container, so in a wrapper. So let's go to the components and we just want to drop in a container. Now this is going to be our wrapper for the entire site. So I'm going to drag it to the top of the node tree and you can see that places it up here. And let's call this um, wrapper. And I'm going to drop my menu into here. And so now we just have our site wrapper at the top and then our menu inside of it. Now we're going to need to change some properties on our menu to get it to be sticky. So if we go to the layout and we look under position and we want to switch it to sticky. Now that's great, but if I scroll, that menu isn't sticky. And that is because it is contained to this wrapper. We need to put other content inside of that wrapper. So this is our header here. Let's call this header. And I'm going to drop this inside of the wrapper so it's below the menu. Um, and now when I scroll, it still doesn't stick, even though you've set this to sticky. Now, the reason for this is because we need to set this um, the offset type and it needs a value. So let's switch it to uniform and rather than it being on auto, you need to pick a value. So we're going to pick zero. And now um, when I scroll, you can see that menu stays in place. But we've got another issue here, one um, that now our content is scrolling over the menu, which is not what we want. So what we need to do here is set the Z index to make sure this menu always stays above everything else. So I'm going to come back over to my menu settings and under layout, I'm going to switch it to custom and I'm just going to set this to 100. And now when we scroll, our menu stays above all of our content. So this is looking really good. But you'll notice as I scroll down the page, it then um, it then moves off the page. So it's not staying there all the time. And that is because we only have two items in this wrapper. And so this is really handy if you want to have your menu stay uh, visible at the top, but only until you get to a certain point. So when the header ends, our menu is going to scroll off with it because that is when this wrapper finishes. So when I scroll up, you can see now the menu's gone and then it comes back. But we want all of our content to scroll under the menu. So all we need to do is look for our other sections and we've got our feature sections here and I'm going to drop that inside the wrapper. Then let's scroll down. We've got this uh, advertising area about Elements Cloud. So let's call this feature two. And I'm going to drop this inside the wrapper also. And we've got a footer there and I don't need, I don't need this footer um, to be inside the wrapper. So I'm going to leave it where it is. So now we've got our content in the wrapper. And as I scroll down, uh, we can make this smaller so we can see. As I scroll down, that menu stays there all the time. Now, there are some other nice things we can do here because when I scroll my content under here, I can't see it yet. So let's add a few visual effects to this to improve the way it looks. So first of all, uh, I'm going to go to background on my menu and I'm just going to lower the opacity just so we can start to see the content underneath. So this is quite nice. Um, I can see there's content going under there, so I can still see it. This is really cool, but it'd be nice if we could blur that content. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to filters and I'm going to go to static and I'm going to put a backdrop blur on this. So let's set it to 10 and you can see that content instantly blurs there. We can set it to lower five there. You can really play around and get the effect you want. So this is very nice as it scrolls under. You can see that content blurring away. Uh, let's lower this opacity a little bit. There we are. So now we're looking um, like this is kind of a frosted glass effect. And we could also give this menu a little drop shadow as well. So let's go to our effects, click static, and uh, we're going to 
choose a large shadow there or maybe a medium. So now you can see we've got a nice drop shadow on here and when I scroll it stays there and our content slides underneath it. So this is really powerful and gives us full control over how we want our menu to appear. Um, so that is how you create a sticky menu in Rapid Weaver Elements for macOS. If you have any more questions, please visit the forum and ask on there and we can help you out with anything you want to create, like different types of menus. So hope you found this one useful and I will see you in the next. Cheers. Bye.